What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. I'm dropping the record button on you guys, so you have it now. I'm, for the first time ever, bringing a special guest on, and uh, let's all welcome Joseph Kelly. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll be your entertainment for this evening. He does he does crazy things, man. He does crazy things. You just gotta pay him enough. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, dude, let's talk yeah, about that Tesla that trade, golf baby. Golf let's talk <laughs> golf <laughs> clash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Well, so oh, what, we, funny. what we do each week, guys, with this is obviously we're here to answer your questions. We're gonna free talk a little bit as well. We're gonna talk about things that ran today, man, especially what happened with Tesla. It's just too good of an opportunity not to bring Joe on, specifically <laughs> because he traded it and Alex traded it and killed it. But uh, if you guys have any questions, write them down here and we'll and me and Joe will also answer live. So, you know, Joe, how do you want to start this thing, man? Should I bring up let me bring up let me explode this Tesla chart real quick. Bro, we gotta talk about this shit and how the hell I missed it, man. <laughs> I'll tell you how you missed it. Focus on it's things what, like <laughs> uh, No, it, the, the big thing this morning, and I was telling Alex this is, is, and this is what we, this is what he didn't talk about in the, in the YouTube live for anybody that hasn't has or hasn't watched it. You know, it was, um, I think me and Brian both were chatting with him separately, but me and Brian trade together in Sam, me, Brian and Sam trade right. together like almost every single day. And we trade very similar stuff. And we all, um, they, they have a bigger risk profile than I do. I, you know, I got two kids and a wife and a house. So, uh, yeah, I'm not taking as much risk on as they are, but we <laughs> all trade the same stuff. And well, I'll so, tell you what, man, if you made $3,000 today on little risk, that's still sexy, man. That's still really nice. That's, and that's the point that I was going to make with the, with options is, is people are afraid of options as they should be. Um, because if you're, dumb and you go trade an option rather not dumb ignorant if you're ignorant about options and ignorant and not in a non-insulting way it's you know it just means you don't understand it if you don't understand options and you want to immediately go oh my god i can make so much money um yeah you're gonna get smoked because you don't know what to trade like today someone i i sent my PL to one of my little buddy groups like that I've known for a long time. And I was like, yeah, long, long, long road. Uh, I said some shit, some inspirational shit or something like that. And <laughs> I was like, a lot of hard work went into this. And uh, really all it was, was that there was an opportunity, but, and I knew there was an opportunity. And the reason why I like options is because I can predefine my dollar risk because, and here's why I don't like trading the equity on Tesla. Like, bless anybody's soul that trades Tesla stock itself because it's so volatile. It's it, so it literally volatile. in one or two minutes, you can, you're like, all right, I'm just going to buy 10 shares. That's not very much. I mean, that's like 7,000 bucks, maybe, you know, if it was like back at 700, you know. Um, yeah, like, and then you get, and then you get a candle like this shares. to the upside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 10 and, and shares you're like, dude you're Whoa! done <laughs> you're like lit but and and but if it turns and goes the opposite direction it can go 50 points against you in two or three minutes and the spread is two three four five dollars a share like if you buy on the ask and sell on the bid you just lost a hundred bucks literally and it's yeah. like and so the puts or the options rather, they're, they were very liquid and it doesn't take a lot of rocket science. Pull up Finviz to me, for me. Yeah, bro. And I'll show you. I and love we'll, Finviz. I love we'll this. We'll talk site. about, uh, so just pull up Tesla <laughs> and, and look at the bottom right of your screen where it says ATR. 44 points is the average high to low on the day, on any given day of Tesla. It can go from 44 
to 88, basically. How crazy On any that? given day. On any given day, it's that much range. So basically, when I saw that it was having its first red day, I sent Alex a picture. And we weren't even chatting before any of this, but I knew he was going to trade it today. Like, I knew it. The and minute, so the I minute just, something has this much volatility, Alex literally like is like foaming at yep. the mouth. Yep. <laughs> and this is what I sent Alex at during pre-market. And I'll just post it there in the chat. It, it was funny, man. Cause like me, Bow and Alex are obviously in a, in a chat, you know, we just uh, make sure that yeah. it's copacetic with the room and just, you know, obviously we're all kind of trading accountability buddies with each other every morning. And uh, we were devising our game plan on this and I, I haven't seen Alex this horny or excited for a trade in like, dude, literally a year. He was, he was so unbelievably excited for this trade today. Yeah. I was like, dude, yep. I knew, I knew he'd at minimum walk out with a 30 K win. I just fucking yep. knew it. Yep. So when he pulled a hundred, I was like, damn bro. <laughs> yeah. I go, you were that so, horny for a trade. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so that line right there was the line I drew. And if you can see it, you, you can see that there's the previous closing price up there in the top corner is 887.06. So that's the previous closing price. Expand so this. we were we were red on the day. And this is just simple technical analysis. And you have to put yourself in the mind frame of people that, because here's the reality of what happens. Day one, it runs. Day two, it gaps up insanely gaps up like a 150 point gap up almost or a hundred yep. point gap up i mean it massive move and so that's day two and we run all the way to 960 right but even though we had that big panic candle longs are still very much in the money although mm -hmm. fresh blood that was buying into the close like some chat rooms were posting on twitter i bought it into the close and then smack it got smashed but what is their mentality day one it gapped up huge day two it gapped up huge day three hell what are the chances it's going to gap up huge might as well try it because they're late to the game they chased it yep. they're late to the party so in my mentality because alex was me and alex were talking and i and and he was like Bro, this has to bounce. It needs to bounce. I want it to bounce. And I said, dude, if this bounces, shorts are fucked. Yeah, honestly. I said, no. I said, it cannot bounce. If it bounces, shorts are in trouble. I, I said, dude, it's got to trash the, the overzealous longs. It's got to trash their position. And so I told him, I was like, dude, the, the line for me was 834, which was the prior day low. And also, if you see it pre-market, you see it supporting right at that same 834, bouncing right off at 834, 834, 834, 834. And then it just keeps yep. bouncing. There you go. And so what that tells me is that, hey, retail is taking over. Retail wants to hold their level, right? Yep. Like Bao was saying when he was trading it, I was like, dude, it seems like retail has taken over this. There's no more algos. There's no more computers front running it. Retail has taken over this. And when retail takes over, that's what conforming to the chart means. So for and all that's new when the members- emotion comes in, man. So that's when exactly. we, we have something like a red day. It's gonna be fucking aggressive, man. People have say now. Yep. And so it, when when I told I told Alex, I said, look, I said, when that level panics, I'm shorting the pop. That's what I want to see. I want to see that level break down, kill longs, make them worry. And then when it bounces, I'm starting to short it because then I have a defined risk. Because to me, when I, if, if this spiked like right out of the gate, I would not feel good about it holding because of how much manipulation is in it. Because Citron research is short and they posted all over Twitter that they're short yeah. and all these other firms want to rape them figuratively. Well, yeah, and it's crazy. Monetarily. Right? Dude, my, my and, plan on this this morning, bro, was literally 880, 900, and 920. Those were like my three lines that I thought were really key, right? I was yep. like, dude, I am too, I was scared shitless, bro. I was like, if this literally just jumps, you know, probably didn't have this decline right here by the time I was forming this plan. If it was just opening right here and jumped to right. 880, I'm not touching that shit. This jumps in right. 9, I may, I need this shit to be overextended because dude, 
like longs are still in control. But here's the thing. It's like you said, man, it's like day one, you know, obviously there's a gap up and then we have a huge run. Then day two, dude, there's a huge gap up. And then they're just momentum. Like the thing I like to think about on these multi-day runners is yeah, not only bag holders, but dude, if you throw a ball up in the air, inertia, momentum, momentum, dude, this is gaining strength. This is literally like there's no baggies in sight. Sure. Yes. On a general concept. And then when this turned, man, I knew that there would be some form, but even still at nine, 20 i'd be shitless man i'd be scared shitless so like yeah you needed this kind of weakness because this is the first day man where we had some gap down dude and it just failed follow through all pre-market and by the time it opened honestly dude i was contemplating a short near like the 860s it just didn't bounce yep. enough for me man so i'm glad you guys caught this shit but i was still i was still a little bit on edge man yeah Meddy. yeah alex probably traded like 100 contracts to make Holy that shit. much. So yeah, yeah, he probably had a lot. Dude. I would imagine. Dude, PM yeah. him, man. PM he, he'll tell you. He'll fucking tell you. Um, yeah, I well, he doesn't know. He forgot. <laughs> <laughs> he was just he would just kept buying. Dude, he was Al- like buying, Alex's, buying, buying. Alex's immunity to fear is probably like it's one of the insane. most mind-boggling things I've ever seen in my life. Like, dude, I, I don't I could do this for 90 years and yep. still not understand how that kid, dude, Alex is 25 years old and can literally drop the house if you wanted to. Bro, what was the first question I ever asked you in freaking San Jose? I asked Tosh, the first time I ever met Tosh and Alex, the first time in San Jose, literally a year and a half ago. I'm trying to first remember. Question I ever asked Tosh was that's a really cool camera where'd you buy it and the second question I asked Tosh was (laughs) that's a really cool porn camera do you ever (laughs) use it the second question I asked Tosh was, why does Alex look so pissed and Tosh goes dude he's not pissed oh that's right he said Tosh said a year and a half ago, he said he's so insanely focused when he has a goal and something to accomplish. He's so insanely hyper-focused that nothing will slow him down. And I'm, I'm telling you, the first time I met him, I saw it. I saw yep. it. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.